But this is truly insane, and I always say, as a brown man, I'm sick and tired of everybody pulling the race card, but truly I am. Bruh. This time I truly I am. Jacksepticeye is in another drama right now, and we, oh, of course, uh, still, we still got the Xbox drama ongoing, that PlayStation drama <laughs> ongoing, it just never stops, right? And I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Like the video if you're like, hey, the woke stuff is ruining video games. Dislike the video if you if you think Abby, Brockzilla, Brock Lesnar, Abby Zilla is perfectly fine for video games because yeah, they actually said no to Stellar Blade Reaper. <laughs> Check this, wait for it. Getting with Resident Evil 5. Now, uh -oh. why are we talking about Resident Evil 5, a game released in 2009 here in 2024? Well, over the past year or two, there's been a lot of discussion about a possible Resident Evil 5 remake. Resident Evil 5 is too racist for a remake. Yeah, bum, 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 bum. After Resident Evil 4's remake was made about a year ago, game journalists have been coming out of the woodwork to claim that a remake of Resident Evil 5 is impossible because the game is too racist for a oh modern audience. You can God. see an article from The Gamer here, but also modern an article audience. from IGN that would get fact-checked about two months ago saying, Resident Evil 5 simply can't be remade, at least not to the standards of Capcom's best work. And you would see they would get hit with this community note saying, the article misconstrues the story of Resident Evil 5. Yeah. IGN also rated the original Resident <laughs> Evil 5 a 9 out of 10. Oh, Brutal. Yeah, what? Say you swear to God, so y'all suck is giving 9 out of 10 and fast forward now? Y'all are saying that, well, Resident Evil 5 simply can be remade. I, I, whoever said that you cannot spell ignorant without saying IGN, I guess you were right. I guess you were right. Now, what is going on? Why are these game journalists calling Resident Evil 5 racist? Well, basically, here's their claim. So in the Resident Evil games, there is a event of bio warfare going on and various countries are hit where basically the citizens are turned into essentially zombies. And of course, yeah. they go fight the zombies. And yeah. these events have taken place all over the world in the various games leading up to Resident yeah. Evil 5. And in Resident Evil 5, the events take place in West Africa. So what yeah, happens? Uh -oh, well, uh -oh. if it happens in West Africa, that means West African citizens are going to turn into zombies and then you're going to go kill the zombies. Now, these various articles are claiming that killing those zombies is an act of racism. Yeah, they believe that oh, players no. are killing these zombies, not because they're zombies, but because they are Africans. Yes, that is the outrageous claim they're trying to make. Unfortunately, this has seeped into some mainstream here. So I'm sure a lot of you, whether you're yeah. aware of it or not, at one point have come across the channel or the content of Jack Septiguy. He is very- uh, Personally, uh, nothing against Jack Septiguy. I, of course, um, I'm aware of the guy, but I am not so, and I believe I'm sub to it, but I don't watch the content. Uh, I believe I watch Until Dawn back in the days. Maybe I'm mixing it up with Syndicate. Uh, actually, but but uh, yeah, I'm aware of the guy, but I don't know everything about the guy But apparently he's in a controversy right now, and he's like hey, bro Like it's it's racist bro. It, it is racist like whoa. We don't need uh, Resident Evil 5 it, it, Yeah, bro, like what we popular talking? an OG youtuber with over 30 million subs Unfortunately, he has fallen for some of this woke nonsense involving Resident Evil uh, Can a brother get two likes guys five in a possible remake? Bruh. So this user posted a clip on the Twitter that's gotten a lot of attention saying, always find this such an odd take, especially when playing through Resident Evil 4, where you're gunning down modern day Spanish people who have regressed to stereotypical crazy medieval peasants who even shoot crossbows, but to apply the exact same setup to Africa is bad and shameful. Uh, I don't think they're ever gonna remake Resi 5 because of the obvious racial conflict that's happening in that game. And I think it would be completely stupid. That game is not aged well in terms of who you're fighting. Um, so they would have to just fundamentally change what the game is about. Obviously, it's very unfortunate to see someone like Jack Septiguy fall for these points that these woke journalists- Yeah, yeah. I, I, as a brown man, dog, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing that race card right now. Like, everybody, dog. Like, this is- th th this is just truly insane. Jack Septiguy- I, I mean, everybody like, okay, Africa got black people in it, right? Perfectly fine. They also got white people, black people, everybody, right? Like good people, bad people. Simple as that. Jack Septica. No, that's a that's a conflict right now, bro. That's a conflict, bro. Are making about Resident Evil 5 to the point where he doesn't even feel comfortable playing Resident Evil 5 because he now genuinely believes, based on these ridiculous talking points, that he is somehow going to be hurting people by engaging with this particular product. And it's absolutely ridiculous. And it's unfortunate because overall he is someone who is well respected on the YouTube scene. So to see yeah. him get wrapped up in this nonsense and convinced. And he's a gamer as well, right? Yeah, he's a game. What? He's a gamer? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my! Oh shit! Oh what? Okay, I just realized, it just kicked in, yeah, you see, real time, it just kicked in, he's a gamer, 
he's a gamer this is like me right now i'm having that you, you feel what i'm saying like indian serial tv kind of shock effect yeah that's that that literally it just literally happened it literally happened right now to me because i just i mean i know he's a gamer but i i just realized he's a gamer you feel what i'm saying it's done so it's done so it's over by these clickbaity ridiculous journalists into believing resident evil 5 is unplayable is really sad to see and here's a clip that i love to share in a given opportunity so 15 years ago, when Resident Evil 5 comes out, people try to make this same talking point that somehow targeting the African citizens who are turning to zombies through biowarfare in Resident Evil 5 was a race war instead of an actual war on bioterror. And this is TJ Storm, who is the voice actor of Josh Stone from that Resident Evil 5 game and other characters throughout the Resident Evil franchise. And also, if you want to spend some time looking at TJ Storm's life, the guy's a very fascinating dude. But anyways, he had this clip to say many years back about these ridiculous concerns we're seeing rise up once again in the year 2023 and 2024. It's in Africa. It's been in Antarctica. It's been, I think, in Spain. It's been in the Midwest. It wasn't racist then. Why should it be racist now? It's in Africa. Have fun with the game! Play the game! And as various clips of Jacksepticeye's comments on Resident Evil 5 have made the rounds on places like Twitter, we've seen people, oh, the usual no. suspect- Oh no, not Twitter. Come on, guys! Like, there are so many countries on the planet. There's so many websites on the planet. They're like, what, 6,000 plus languages, right? But brothers still be on, being on Twitter Bruh. right now. Brothers are like, nah, bro, I gotta be on Twitter. I gotta be on Twitter. And guys, as we get down to the climax, real quick, I gotta say this. If you, a, 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 a. If you guys got Twitter, Bruh. I would definitely love to have you there. <laughs> Uh, no, okay, I'm joking around. Uh, before we get to, down to the climax, guys, I gotta say I have a second channel. This is where we upload UFO content, conspiracy content every single day. I also have a third channel, and, uh, well, the content that we got going on is, uh, I cannot really explain it right now. But check out the top pin comment below for the link tree. You can catch all my YouTube channels, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, even the secret link. Uh, check it out, and uh, yeah, let's get back to the content now here. Boo -boo. All right, come out of the woodwork it. to try to demonize anyone who has an issue with what's happening here. It. You see this tweet right here, this quote that really sums up the moral outrage, saying, You can really tell what chuds have and haven't played Resident Evil 5 in these replies. What's a, you absolutely uh, what's a chud? cannot read. And before it's a bad word that I'm not aware of, okay, well, I, I don't know what that means. That Yeah, let me know in the comments. You make this game, which goes against the direct comments of people like Storm and other people who have actually played the game or participated or even participated in the creation of this game. And I think this TikTok we're going to look at really quickly really sums up how a lot of people feel when a bunch of woke weirdos on Twitter want to speak on their behalf. This article was written by Miss Jade King. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Jade King. Now... Uh -oh. I don't know if y'all notice this or not, but that's not a black woman or a black person, period. What that is is yet another example of what we see a lot in modern media. PC culture woke people being offended for people who aren't offended. Yeah, Don't exactly. be offended yeah. for black people. We didn't ask yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, ex yeah, preach, preach. Yeah, 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 preach. Yeah, exactly. Of course, I'm not black, but, but I'm brown. Uh, I'm brown. Bruh. But that that shouldn't even be like a factor. Why am I even bringing that up? If it's because like these suckers are bringing this up, right? These suckers are. Why are we even talking about this? Can't like oh man, like we're in the year 2024. Can a brother perhaps be uh, getting past all of this bull squash? We just want good games, bro. Like good people, bad people exist in every corner of the earth. It's like I I heard a saying, right? Like. Uh, somebody who won, I believe, uh, someone actually said this, uh, good girls are found in every corner of the earth, but sadly, the earth is round. Bruh. Yeah, so uh, it, that's kind of like where I'm going. It's like good people are, are, are found in every corner of the earth, but sadly, uh, the earth is uh, round. No, I, I truly, okay, whoa. Bruh. I, no, I truly do believe we had good people, we got bad people, okay? It happens, it's in every religion, every race, every country every group right you're always gonna find good apples you're gonna find bad you're gonna find bad apples like when seconds start getting offended over other people it's like bruh imagine somebody getting offended in the comments for me but i'm sitting here i'm like hey yo bro like what like what, what, what? like i ain't even offended though you don't need to be offended on my behalf so yeah there's a whole lot of that going on that i'm gonna be offended because of you man i'm gonna be offended because of you you to do that i know you may think that gets you cool points and that gets you a little approval in the culture but it does not 
Like, yeah, bro, we know yeah, this game yeah. ain't racist. No black person ever said it was. You cannot find a single article on the internet that's talking about the controversies around the Resident Evil 5 that was written by a black person. By allowing clickbaity articles like this to be successful, you are making it more and more difficult for real situations of racism, transphobia, homophobia, xenophobia, bigotry, all of that to be ignored yeah. and not taken serious. Because yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. gonna be, oh, here we go again. Somebody's mad about something. And we're already there because of shit. Yeah, like how many times we seen this happen? How many times we have talked about it? Like the woke stuff that's happening in gaming right now, it, it's, it just divides people. Maybe their tr their objective is to bring everybody together. Cool, but it's not bringing everybody together. It's like dividing people more and more, right? It, it just doesn't work. The more you push crap down people's throat, the more it pushes them away, right? Like it, it just don't work like that. Like just stop with it. Just just stop with it. Stop with it. Stop doing that crap, bro. Nobody likes it. A aside from the the point one percent, but like generally speaking, nobody likes it like this because i'm gonna keep it a buck with you motherfucker you come at me like this you getting shot period i don't give a fuck if you white red black brown yellow green i don't care you step to me like this my boy it's curtains again resident evil 5 is not racist bro at all stop speaking for us so now we're gonna yeah. move on to the next topic of today's yeah. video and, and guys like i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video in time or not they apparently got hacked oh yeah oh hell yeah we got the sweet baby ink situation going on the woke stuff going on there's a video that's going viral not sure if you guys were able to see it or not but check it out and i'll see you right there on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check it out and i'll see you right there